So we haven't looked at pi 1 as a functor yet, even though we know how to compute it and we know quite a lot about it. Now this is quite easy, but we have to get it correct. It's not a functor on topological spaces. That's because it depends on the base point. Okay, And even we'll see in some restricted setting, it doesn't depend on the base point as a group up to isomorphism, but it still won't be a functor. So the correct category is what is called a base space, whose objects are pairs, Okay, it consists of a topological space, which is X, and a base point in it. And morphisms are functions between the topological spaces. Okay, and of course I mean F is continuous as usual. But they take base point to the base point. Other points can go to the base point. There is no uh, problem here. Okay, so the theorem is that we have X going to, sorry, X, X0 going to pi 1 of x, x0 is a functor. I wrote it this way, but we want to have a key point is what we need to say. Is, so space goes to sp group, object go to object, what is morphisms? So map on morphisms will define it and show it's well defined. None, none of this is hard. It's very useful though. So let's map on morphisms. So suppose we have f which maps x, x0 to y, y0. Okay, so we define, we'll call this f star, which is the standard notation of alpha as the following. I look at f composed with alpha. Okay, so of course alpha is going to map 0, 1, 2. So alpha is going to map 0, 1. So it's better to write it as a diagram. So I have 0, 1. This is mapped by alpha to x. And this is mapped by f to y. And you compose it, you get this guy. And the endpoints go to x0, 0 and 1. So if you wish 0 and 1 here, they're included here. They go to x0 as a single point here. And that goes to y0 because it's a map between base spaces. So I have defined it not as F composed with alpha, but the class of F composed with alpha. And the proposition here, which is what is needed, is that F star is, well, two things, is well defined. And the second one is that it's a homomorphism. Okay. A, let's see why this is the case. A, oh, what do we want to show? Alpha equals beta. So I should say, suppose alpha equals beta. Okay, you let H be a homotopy. Uh, from alpha to beta, of course, fixing endpoints. Fixing endpoints, I may not all say always, but this one should guess it from the context. So from alpha, to, let me this time say it, fixing endpoints. Well, then we did this once with the covering map. Then we'll, let's look at fh composed with h. This map 0, 1 cross 0, 1 to y. This is a homotopy. From uh, f of alpha to f of beta. Again, fixing in points. So what this is saying, therefore, the beta alpha and beta have a homotopy between them, so f of alpha equals f of beta. So what this says is that if two elements are equivalent, their image is equivalent. That's really what we had to show. We had to show it's well-defined, so this is well defined on omega of x, x0 up to equivalence, which is pi 1 of x, x0. <coughs> and B is absolutely clear, because if I'm looking at f star of alpha star beta, okay, this is f composed with alpha star beta. And straight from the definitions, you can see this is f composed with alpha star f composed with beta because on the first half of the interval we had uh, alpha and we had beta 
if I applied F to that, this will be F composed with alpha, this will be F composed with beta. So this is F star of alpha and star F star of beta. Okay, so this was our first thing. So that we really do have a functor on a slightly different category, that of base spaces. We have to take care of base points as a result. We'll better understand the dependence on base points in a little while. But we have our first uh, main point here. Okay, our next point will be homotopy invariance, but that we will look at next.